Prozac has the side effect of a lower or, or less libido. Hey there, Coach Devin here. Okay, a lot of people have asked me the question about, uh, and I've been very honest about the fact that I'm taking an antidepressant, I take Prozac. Um, that's the antidepressant I was taking. A lot of people have asked me, Devin, what are you taking? What is the, the drug you're taking and how does it make you feel? And I thought I would just, you know, make a video because rather than having to explain to everybody all the time, I mean, I suppose I would still have to, but that's okay. All right, so a little bit of a background story for anybody who hasn't, uh, hasn't listened to the first video, uh, basically, I had a staph infection in my back uh, a couple years ago, um, two and a half years ago, roughly, right at the beginning of COVID. I got a staph infection in my back and my spine, got super sick, ended up in the hospital. Uh, doctor said, if you, you know, if you go home, you're going to die, all that fun stuff. All right. So that's what happened. I recovered, obviously. I'm still here. Uh, I still have a little bit of back pain, so I, I do have consistent pain all the time uh, in my back. But it's not the end of the world. I can pretty much do everything I want. I mean, I can even run again now, which is, you know, I'm pretty good. I, I am pretty good now. Um, so I recovered from it, but I, I don't I don't know if I ever recovered really from it. And my wife kept saying to me, you know, you're different than you were. You, you tend to be overly negative. I, 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 I thought negatively and I would get things in my head and I couldn't get them out of my head. Uh, which, you know, a lot of times at work, I was pretty much normal, uh, but I still, you know, at, by myself, in my mind, not where I was before. Uh, my wife did have noticed that and, you know, brought it up a lot of times. And finally, you know, I'm stubborn. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows I'm stubborn. So uh, after a while, I said, okay, this is ridiculous. I got I to gotta go see somebody and talk about it. So that's what I did. Uh, I talked to my doctor. She said it's pretty common. So she said, we're going to try her on this. So I take... What I take is 20 milligrams of Prozac um, a day. And uh, so I started it, uh, I'm seven weeks in now. And I want to keep people kind of an update of where it was because people keep asking me, what are you, the side effects, how do you feel? Okay, so I can, the first stop right out of the gun. I feel like myself again. I feel normal. I feel, I don't feel numb. I feel good. Um, I, I, I like to say I feel zen. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it took my intensity level, which, you know, was like, a, I don't know, like a 95. It ran in like a 95 all the time. Um, and it, it brought it down to like a, a 45. So I feel pretty zen all the time. You know, I, I, I'm still myself. Um, and I still, I'm still pretty excitable. That <laughs> that's just me. Uh, but I also feel normal now i feel pretty calm i feel zen i don't get upset over stupid shit anymore i, I just you know I'm, I'm pretty calm most of the time so i like it took the edge off that uh sleep wise it was a big change for sleep for me for sleep i would go to sleep and i could fall asleep fast but boy i could not stay asleep i would wake up six and seven times a night and it was just it was awful and that had been going on for you know two over two years and, uh, and I just thought I was a bad sleeper. Uh, I'd never been a bad sleeper before, but I became obviously a very bad sleeper. Um, and that very much changed because I was like, now I go to sleep and I sleep for like six hours. I might wake up and be like, oh, I'm gonna sleep some more and go back to sleep. It's pretty much that easy. And I'm finding myself now, which is what I used to do all the time is waking up before the alarm goes off and going, oh, this morning I woke up. I usually get up at 5.30 in the morning. I woke up at quarter after five. I'm like, yeah. I should probably get up now. And I just got up and went on with my day. You know what I mean? So that that part's pretty cool. I'm not waking up with an alarm. The sleep portion of it is amazing. So I feel much better. Uh, I feel pretty zen. I don't feel numb at all. I feel like myself. I like, feel like the best version of myself. Um, and the other thing that I found that has been interesting is uh, before, if I had a cheat meal, then I would crave that food. So if I have pizza, I tell everybody I have pizza every uh, every Friday night, right? I, I like pizza. We, My family, we have pizza on Friday night, watch movies. That's our thing. Uh, they have two pieces of pizza and I'd want three or four pieces of pizza. Uh, and if we had chips, I want to eat all kinds of chips. Like it, it was hard to turn it off. Like once I broke the seal, I, I didn't want to stop eating. That has been very different for me too. So what I, I feel like is I, I, you know, I eat a piece of pizza or two pieces of pizza. I'm like, all right, I'm good. I eat a couple chips and I'm like, okay, now I'm good now. I don't, I don't feel the need to keep going. Uh, and I don't know exactly what that is, but again, like I said, the intensity level being turned down, the intensity level for that has been turned down too. So what I've, the outcome has been, I've lost like 11 pounds uh, and not in a bad way. I've just lost 11 pounds because I, I find it, I'm not crazy about food anymore. I'm pretty relaxed about eating, which is, which is great. And that's a positive for me. So I'm pretty pumped about that. 
everybody, everybody, everybody has asked the last one, which is libido. Where is your libido? How is it? Because Prozac has the side effect of a lower or uh, less libido. Uh, I'll be honest, it has turned it down. That's no question. It has turned my libido down, but down to a level that is probably more reasonable. Um, I don't overthink anything anymore, and, and I don't overthink the libido side of things anymore either. I just sort of, everything's like, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm good. Good most of the time, you know? So my libido wallet is not what it was before, which is probably <laughs> crazy high. Uh, it, it's probably more in a, in a normal range. So at first that felt kind of weird for me. Uh, and I felt like, I don't know if I like that, but I also said to myself, I'm going to give this thing four months and I'm going to be on it for four months and before I make a decision. And I will say now that you know, I really, that, if that's a side effect, and it's really not a side effect uh, that, that is bad for me, I should say, uh, I, I feel pretty much overall good and normal. I would, for me, what my experience with uh, Prozac has been super, super positive. Uh, I feel great. I don't feel upset about anything. I don't overthink things as much as I used to because my brain would be like, running 800 miles an hour all the time. It's like a mouse just sprinting on a wheel all day long. And that doesn't happen as much. And that for me is a, is a big win. So overall, I will say this, I have been an enormous fan. I know for some people it doesn't work as well, but my experience with, with Prozac has been, has been overall very, very positive. So uh, if, if you're a person who is having some of the issues that I had, um, I would highly suggest you talk to your doctor I feel much better personally. I feel much happier personally. I feel much more content. I feel zen. Like there hasn't been any overwhelming negatives for me or really any negatives of any kind. I, I just feel good overall. Give it a try. I, you know what? I, hopefully everybody, uh, that answers everybody's questions. But if you do have questions uh, about how I feel about it, write them up in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I'd like to obviously share this with as many people as possible because I think that I'm probably normal. There's probably lots of people that have it and I would like to take the stigma off that for people so people understand that lots of us, uh, lots of us have similar issues out there and hopefully we can all work through them together. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't bite, be awesome.